the double a gap pressure look these are a lot of the a gap pressure plays from uh michael parsons i just want to show these plays real quick where when you when i say double a gap pressure and micah at linebacker doesn't mean he's not pass rushing and this is why i say that when you see him there that he's in the a or the b gap in these in these shots right uh here he's on the edge again but you know we'll get through it <laughs> but uh yeah he's on the edge here but he'll be able to do this too obviously but look, i want to show you him in the a gap like here the, you'll see Micah Parsons here a lot in a Zimmer defense because Zimmer sees, and I know anyone else will see, good things happen when Micah Parsons lines up here. Even when he's not getting a sack, as you can see here, the only reason uh, Kurtz has the ball in his hand is because of what Micah Parsons did on this play. You know, so he can pass rush on third downs like you see here. But when you when you when you talk about that double A gap scheme. Uh, what comes to mind for me is Micah Parsons being one of these guys that's here in the middle of the field, able to either cover or go after it and change the game and kind of wreck the game from here. So, and even when he's not blitzing, he has an effect on the game because you have to pay attention to him. Whereas when you look at Barr or Kendricks, they're not guys that scare you when it comes to blitzing. You're not like, oh my God, I hope that Kendricks is not, you know, blitzing now even though they're good blitzers they're not michael parsons standing here michael parsons is standing here one of five you're paying attention to him because he can just do stuff like that at the end of the day even though he doesn't make the play here you'll see him there a lot and you'll see you know zimmer actually try to coach him up on what to do when he's standing in that a gap so these types of looks, you're going to get more of this than you will 3-4 because Zim's not a 3-4 guy. So you're going to see Micah Parsons lined up closer to the ball, which I don't hate because, you know, this is where I wanted him in Dan Quinn's scheme, you know, interior. Sometimes you'll see him with his hand in the ground, but these are the things that you're going to get. And I brought you to this film because I wanted you to get a fresh look at how effective he was from here so that when you see Anthony Barr, or when you see Kendricks lined up in this spot, just imagine what Micah can do that these guys aren't doing in that spot. Stuff like this, right? Getting the ball out of their hands quick, although this was a perfectly timed screen pass, you can just see how quick he wins from the from the middle of the field. These are all of or most of his midfield or middle of the field rushes, you know, and you can see what happens there. It, even when those linemen take and pay attention to him, other guys get an opportunity to make plays. But that center is shitting bricks right now because Michael Parsons wins so damn fast, right? Incomplete pass here. You know what I mean? Bad air throw through behind him because you have to get rid of the ball so damn fast. There he's late. He's late on the pass rush and still gets there. Had he not been communicating, he would have got a sack on that play. But that's just how dangerous he is when he's standing there. He wins so damn. Look at this. Like, this is ball in the dirt. Like, these are the plays that I was looking at where I'm saying, how do you watch this if you're Dan Quinn and don't do this in your biggest moments and in your biggest games? You put him back on the edge where he's not the guy from there. You know what I mean? He's good from there. Not great. Shout out to Terrence Parsons, too. I just did a show with his brother, and we talked about this. But when you put him in the middle of the field on early downs, you could just see the effect. Look at how quick he was. Here he gets held. You know, you'll see you'll see that happening, too. But, you know, you, you get my drift. Like, here he's kind of like in the wheel position, that wheel backer. You're going to win, just run right to, through two guys, get himself a sack. Like, this is what you'll see him doing in a Zimmer defense because you know Zimmer's going to use him this way because Zimmer likes to, you know, frustrate the A-gap as well. And you can see how quick he wins in the A-gap. The difference is, like you saw there, let's watch this one again. The difference is here in this next play, you won't see Michael Parsons doing this with cushion on the outside and those guys lined up 15 yards off the ball. Like, look how fast he wins, but he has somewhere to go with the ball because they're playing off. You know what I mean? So those things frustrated me when we saw that, you know, Micah, Micah's a guy that can win so fast, whether he's an A-gap or on the edge, it's like, why would you not be playing press man? But he'll be doing other things now that you have Zimmer as well. So that's those are the things I want to see. Here's my knock on him being at edge right here. I, I, I showed this before, and I'll show it again. 
this is what teams elect to do because he's only 250 pounds. If you double team 250 pounds with 600 pounds, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. So you don't put him in those positions consistently. This is where he needs to be because he's a pass rusher and he could do his other things from here, as you can see. He, he's a force in the middle of the field, in the interior. And that's where Zimmer's – those are my alarms, my bad. But that's where Zimmer's going to use him, man. You can you can kind of see there's only a couple more clips here, and then I'll get back to the Minnesota footage. So I just wanted you guys to just get this stapled or tattooed in your subconscious mind. Micah Parsons in the A-gap is what you want. Why? Because of this film right here. When you watch it, you get an understanding for what he's going to be able to do in the middle of the field. And, uh, you know, the 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 uh, the implications and the things he'll be able to do is just limitless, man. You got so many so many options from there. It's crazy. And then on third downs, he could do that type of stuff, man. But uh, 